Hello everyone, the card collector here and welcome to another deck review. Today we have the Red Bull Playing Cards, a collaboration project between DKNG, a graphic design studio, and Art of Play, the playing cards creator amongst other things. The deck was launched back on November 2015 and is still widely available at around $12. The deck is available in 4 different varieties, but I'm only reviewing the red version. You'd probably be glad to know that USPCC is the company behind manufacturing these cards, which means only one thing, supreme quality. The top case supports a fully embossed foil stamp of what seems to be two bicycles positioned vertically. You'll also see skulls on both the upper and bottom sides of the top with the four card suites on all four corners. The light shade of red and white foreground creates a very pleasing to the eye aesthetic, and it's also made up of thick paper, making it very durable. A custom tuck seal guards the precious cards, but I must warn you, use a knife or a plastic card for opening, as it's very hard to open and could potentially damage your playing card if you use one. Besides that, I really like the gold seal and the skull image in it. A slight flaw on the tuck case's flap makes it hard to open the box. You might want to be gentle when opening it. On the box of swings you'll see again, these cute little white skulls. Upon closer examination, you'll see that their eyes represent the D, K, and G letters. I could say a lot more about the tuck case, but it'll take too long. So now it's time to go on to the cards. The card stock is thinner than the usual bicycle stock, but it should not be confused with a crush stock. The roughness on the edges that is usually present in a bicycle deck is apparently missing or not very obvious with this one. You should be able to do some nice flourishes on this, but more on that later. The first card that will greet you is an add card, which has the blue shade that's available as one of the four alternate colors for this deck. You'll also get two jokers which has a skull design in gold metallic ink. One is darker and one is lighter, but both have a diamond shaped eye and gives a Dia de los Muertos vibe. The aces and the regular cards are all fully customized. The faces are placed in a satisfying order and uses large fonts and pips. Metallic ink is used heavily on all the cards and there's a nice touch of two dots placed on both vertical edges of the indexes. Here's a quick glance on the rest of the faces. Next we have this instruction card on how to replace a lost card. I'm not really sure how to use it, so if you do, please tell me in the comments below. The Aces maintain the two-tone design with a stitching patterns. It's also amusing to find a bicycle on the Ace of Spades given the deck's name and that it was manufactured by USBCC. The court cards are all completely redrawn. The hard outline and high contrast colors almost make them look cartoony. The clothes were also heavily modified, having their color and patterns more strictly follow their suite. And of course, the metallic ink make them shine in beauty. Now it's time to talk about the handling. The cards dribble and spring as I would expect from a USB-CC crush card, which might be purely coincidental. It's ideal for flourishes that uses pressure, as they are very soft. 
in the air cushion finish, make sure that the cords stick to your fingers and fan out of the box. Here's how the back design looks like in a fan. The borders have just the right amount of thickness and makes a fine contrast to the deck's red color. The face fan is just as good, with the small pips and large indexes evenly spaced out, creating a very satisfying look. The cards are very buttery when you flower them, and the giant fan is equally as good as a regular fan. While it looks good in motion for cuts, I would recommend using the deck only for performing and not practicing as they bend rather quickly. Still, I would say this is a good all-around deck in terms of handling, and with that, I'd give the deck an overall score of 8 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, please consider subscribing to get notified of future reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.